For those of you who have been following Cross Encounters Ministries for any length of time, you know that Tony was arrested in Dundee, Scotland on January 8th this year while open air preaching. Since then, Tony has been waiting to either stand trial or receive word that his case has been dismissed. The case calls again on June 16th. Tony's attorney in Dundee recently heard from the district attorney's office. Apparently, they have found and recovered the video of the incident from Tony's video camera. This is good for a couple of reasons. Number one, they now admit to having the footage. Number two, Tony's camera still exists, and three, the footage shows the prosecutors that their victims slash witnesses were the aggressors that day and not Tony. This is the first positive news Tony has received about the case in six months. Tony is encouraged but remains only cautiously optimistic. So, please join us in praying that the charges will be dropped on or before June 16th. Pray also that Tony's equipment, both audio and video, along with the audio and video files, will be returned to him intact. On the May 24th edition of Cross Encounters Radio on Blog Talk Radio, Chris and Rich took the reins in Tony's absence as Tony was attending his daughter's graduation from college. Chris gave us a quick review of the Godzilla movie and pointed us to Tony's movie review of Godzilla on the Gospel Spam blog. Next on the podcast, Chris read an article about a UK church with a church sign that said, if you think there is no God, you better be right. One person complained to the police, which sparked a hate crime investigation of the church's sign. The church caved in to the pressure and changed the sign to God loves you. Chris and Rich pointed out that the culture swing is so strong that one day, It may be a hate crime to believe that the Bible is true. And finally on the podcast, Chris and Rich discussed why it is never a good idea to idolize popular church leaders and put them on a pedestal. For more on Tony Miano and Cross Encounters Ministries, go to crossencountermin.com. For more highlights of Cross Encounters Radio, go to BibleThumpingWingnut.com.